what are you doing out here? Looking worse for wear, no less. <sighs> what do I care? What do you think? I'm here, you're here, and it's kind of obvious you're on the ground, sort of pitifully, like a loser. So I figured I would say something instead of just walking past you. So seriously, what happened? <laughs> you fell. Okay, I don't know how stupid you think I am, but not stupid enough for that to fool me. You look like shit, if I'm being real, and that's not from a fall. I mean, come on now. Those kind of injuries, even if they're surface wounds, don't appear from a fall. So, you either had to fall really dramatically, or down seven flights of stairs. Or someone pushed you. So, do you want to fess up, or am I just going to leave you here, wishing that you would have said something more? Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. You don't have to confess or spill your secrets or whatever. But I'm going to help. So get your back up against the wall and lay your legs out straight so I can clean and bandage them up. Why do I do fucking anything for people? If you're going to be a dick about it, then I'll just leave, but do you want some help or not? <laughs> okay, good. Jesus Christ, just put your fucking back against the wall. And don't say I don't ever do anything for you, because I'm really going out of my way here. You should be really thankful. Alright, well. What do you mean? Of course I have a first aid kit in my backpack. What else would I have? Notebooks? Fucking laptop? Hell no. I have like... A couple packs of cigarettes. A couple dead lighters. A bottle of alcohol. And a first aid kit. Because those are the steps and procedures for a good night and what happens after a good night. Well, a first aid kit is mostly after, but I digress. It has a little bit of rubbing alcohol in there because something tells me you don't want vodka on your wounds and I can bandage you up. I'll get some medical tape or whatever the fuck it's called and then, you know, make you feel a little bit better. Um, it'll help you look better too. You'll look more badass instead of looking like a sorry excuse for a zombie at Halloween night. I mean, seriously. It's just, it's shameful, you know? You gotta at least look your best when I make fun of you, right? Else it's unfair. It's like, it's like kicking someone when they're already down. And while I have done that before, I'm not gonna do that this time, so... Uh, take this as a token of goodwill because I'm not going to give out very many and you owe me one so uh, let's inspect the area of uh, damage and we'll uh, disinfect it a little bit uh, it's definitely going to hurt it's going to sting a little but that's okay uh, you won't be able to move that leg anywhere because I'll be holding it down so, be sure to uh, brace, I guess. And uh, as I pour a little bit of alcohol on it and wipe it away, your scrape will be good as new or fresh. It's not good, it's not fixed, but it's not infected with dirty concrete from the street because that shit's gross, I'm going to be honest here. And you'll probably get like seven different diseases if you let that shit, you know, marinate in there. That's not a good luck. So, I'm just gonna wrap it up a little bit. Get some 
larger bandages on it because a band-aid's not really going to cover that. Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's not bleeding very much. It's clearly a surface wound, but that doesn't mean it won't hurt a little bit, you know. It's going to take a while to heal up. So what I recommend you do is get a first aid kit when you're back at your house and uh, disinfect it again, you know, swap out the bandages, you know, once every couple days at least. I'd suggest once every day, but you might not be able to afford new bandages every day, so I don't blame you, you know. Nobody's going to notice anyways, or at least they'll be too occupied by your fucked up face to care. <laughs> All right, let's get that finished up, and there you go, brand new leg. It's not going to help too much, but it'll act sort of as a splint because there's more fabric there than what it used to be, and it'll prevent the wound from moving a little bit too much or opening up again because the bandages are wrapped tightly enough to keep it there, you know? Just really hold it in place. Uh, let's see. You've also got some little scrapes on your knuckles <laughs> those are cute where'd you get those <laughs> I'm just kidding I know you got them from the fall I mean you're lucky you didn't fall that hard because if you did just fall on your fists um, you could be experiencing a lot more pain than just scraped knuckles and I don't even want to get into all the sorts of ER shit that you might have to worry about. So I'm just going to give you a couple band-aids for that. What? You want me to fucking kiss your wounds better? I'm not your mom. You can deal with it, right? Alright, well. Fine. Maybe I will. But only because it sounds like you hate it so much. <laughs> All right, let me just get a couple bandages on there. Fortunately, it looks like I can wrap them around your fingers, which will make it easy for you. I mean, they'll be a little stiff, obviously, but it's uh, better than having loose bandages, right? All right, there you go. It looks like you're all fixed up, so to speak. I mean... <laughs> It'll obviously take a couple days for everything to scab up and uh, fix itself. I mean, it might take a week or two, but you'll be fine. None of it's infected. If it was, it would look a lot gnarlier than it did. So, you should be fine. Oh, right, your kisses. How could I forget? Alright, one for each finger, and I'm not doing them seconds, so... Cherish it while you last, because I'm not doing this very often. <laughs> hmm. One. Two. Three. And four. There you go. That's all you get. That's all you get. And you're telling me your lips are sore, too. What are you flirting with me? Well, to be honest, this uh, disheveled look kind of does you a service, so maybe I'll get that for you too. <sighs> Fine. Just shut up. There. And that's all you're getting. So, suck it up and make your way back home. You'll be fine. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> same time, same place as always. We have the same schedule, almost. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the morning. And, uh, don't expect me to be any nicer because of this. 
This was a one-time thing. I don't want to get too used to it. What? No, I said I don't want you to get too used to it. <laughs> Are the fucking wounds getting to your head? You're delusional. Whatever. I'll see you later. Packed up my shit already. I'm gonna leave. See ya.